I'm happy for us to be able to be together again. One of the privileges of living a fairly long time is that you have memories of so many things that uh, other people may not have had the privilege of enjoying. I think particularly of the music I have known, especially the music of faith over my lifetime. Some of that music now is, of course, terribly outdated, not because the tunes are, but because the lyrics just sound quaint to people in our world today. I'm thinking particularly right now of a hymn, I think you'd call it a hymn, that my mother used to sing around the house a great deal. She had heard it on a radio program, Jean and Glenn, Jake and Lena. They always included a song in the process of their program. And this was one of the songs they had sung and then mother bought it in sheet music and put it on our piano and she would sing it as she was going about her work. Telephone to glory, oh what joy divine, I can feel the spirit moving in the line. Sent by God the Father through his holy son, telephone to glory on your royal telephone. And there was a line in it that said, central's never busy, always on the line. Well, uh, you can't imagine a world now, any of us I suspect, where you had to call Central first before they got you connected then with your party. But that was the way it was when that song was written, and that was therefore part of the theme of the song. I suppose that that music could be called a kind of country western gospel. It was taking some idea and making a whole message out of it. And my mother loved to sing it. There were some problems for it, of course, as far as we were concerned. Because in those days, not everybody had a telephone. I remember so clearly when our family went into the Great Depression and the telephone was one of the first things we gave up. Therefore, if you're going to telephone somebody, you either hoped you had a neighbor who was willing to let you use their telephone or you went down to the corner grocery store, Solomon's in my case, where you ask the grocer if you use their telephone. And they would look a bit harried and would say, don't make it long, and you'd make it as quickly as you can and would run out again. And this was the world of another day and of telephones. So it kind of messed up the message of being able to call our Lord because you had to have the equipment if you followed through on the message of that song. Well, I got to singing this the other day as I was driving along. I come up with all kinds of old songs when I'm driving down the road alone. Uh, and uh, this one, I was singing away. And it occurred to me that if someone could write a song along that theme today, we'd be in better shape now than we were in my boyhood. Because now we have cell phones. I can't tell you I like them, to tell you the truth. But when it comes to the gospel image, it's a better one than the old-fashioned phone was. If you have a cell phone, it doesn't matter where you are. You're in contact with whomever you want to be in contact with. And uh, what may not be as pleasant, uh, they can be in contact with you wherever you are. And I must say, that's truer to the picture of prayer and our relationship with God than the telephone they sang about in my youth and boyhood. Because if we want to seek God, there's no place where we have to look for a telephone. We don't have to look for a church or our prayer closet or whatever. The telephone to glory is always available to us. It's like a cell phone, only better. The battery doesn't run out. There's nothing about it to prevent our getting through. There's no point along the way where the voice is going to fade out. Not if indeed we have an earnestness about seeking the Lord our God. So, I'm re-singing that old song. I haven't made the words over again, but I've pondered the fact that indeed we can telephone to our Lord at any time, that always and always we have in immediate reach the possibility of doing business with God. I want also to have the other side of it, that wherever I am, I will have an ear tuned to God's ring to me so that I'll recognize the ring when God calls me. And if I do, communication is going to be awfully good because God is always ready, blessed be the name of the Lord, to receive my call. 
I want to be ready always to receive God's call. And what I wish for me, I wish for you. God bless us, everyone.